Hey guys and girls, Bitcoin Cash community. I am Cameron and I am coming out with a second video on the onboarding process for the Electron Cash mobile application. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, relayed some feedback on the first iteration. And thank you to George and Ronald, anyone else that was involved. Uh, to be able to get this in front of the eyes of multiple um, Bitcoin Cash users and Electron Cash users. I would like to begin just like I began the first iteration and just show you uh, what I learned and uh, how to better create task flows for the user once they begin their Electron Cash journey or uh, return to it. So non-zero state wallet, you have two sliders here. So once you click the icon on your mobile device, you are going to uh, see this in a non-zero state if you have nothing connected or imported. Uh, you can always press get started unless you wanna see some cool photos or something. And this is what the non-zero state default home view wallet will look like with the Bitcoin Cash ticker um, just like maybe if you went to CoinGecko or Masari or Trading Weekly or something, uh, default wise, you will have a zero in your wallet balance. And uh, your primary focus here will be this plus button, which will pop up in a menu for you. Uh, default wise, it will be sta unstandard. Um, I really would like to get your guys' feedback on what options should be in the menu. Um, as a standard or advanced, you have create a wallet, import, master key, and then I assume to help me. Maybe you guys have a better idea. I'd like to hear from you guys. So uh, you can always click that out and you're gonna come back to this uh, default non-zero, or I'm sorry, zero state wallet, um, not non-zero state. And so let's imagine that you are gonna create a new wallet. Let me click on this one right here. Something familiar from the original uh, Electron Cash wallet on Android at least. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to put a wallet name and a password into it. So something I wanna keep things familiar. And you're gonna get, after tapping um, next, you're gonna get information on securing your wallet. Uh, there, if you, there, it's a little faint. Uh, remind me later will be a link that can help you skip it, but we'll ask you a few questions. Um, so let's imagine that you're not skipping this and you press next. You're gonna get a little bit more information on securing your wallet. Press next. And then to view your multi, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, to view your uh, standard seed phrase for your wallet, uh, you're going to um, wanna press view and you will have 12 uh, words to write down. My apologies. Um, ignore, do, I'm sorry. Um, so you're gonna go through this, confirming words, selected words. You press next once you get that right. Success on creating a new wallet. This will take you to your home wallet which I'm in the process of designing. Oh, my apologies. So let's say that you pressed remind me. And uh, thank you to the community who stated that it should be reorganized. So we're gonna wanna give some information on what your seed freight is and why you wanna protect your wallet. And you just say, you got it, you got it. You get one last question. You wanna skip this? You want to secure it or you want to skip it. If you press skip, it'll take you to your home wallet. Now, if we're creating a multi-sig, you want to put your wallet name, password, and then you need to get the option of how many signatures and co-signers are appropriate to be able to sign a smart contract for you to create a transaction. And so let's just, um, at default, two signatures of three cosigners, right? Um, and this is where things will be a little bit more clear. Um, you'll 
have three keys that you need to add. Uh, you can create or import through uh, however you'd like. Maybe in a, a ledger or maybe a cobalt. It's up to you. So you want to put a name or an ID of this key. Maybe you just call it key one. Maybe you call it mom. Let's say you call this mom and uh, you press create. So uh, same thing as you saw earlier about creating a standard wallet. Uh, you're also going to see um, some relevant information on securing your wallet or you can remind yourself later to do it. I don't know. That's up to you. I think maybe I want to get rid of this unless you guys say something different. Um, same thing, uh, write down your seed phrase. Uh, your 12 word seed phrase will be here to view. Press next. Confirm. Success. Uh, with your multi signature, when you're creating a new multi signature wallet, you're going to be able to um, uh, conceal your master public key. Um, same thing goes, you want to press view, you'll see it. Uh, best option would probably be to copy to clipboard. Maybe you write it down. It's up to you. Now, with this master public key, you're going to have to share this with your cosigners. And to view your master public key, uh, you decide your first, your second cosigner will need a cosigner key. So you should have a XPRV or an XPUB, and this will determine your view as a cosigner and yeah okay uh, yeah so once you get to that now you're you got this kind of like a progress bar maybe would be good there uh, you want to put your same thing in for your, your second key pair so name or ID create let's say you say import and you have something familiar. Now you're going to enter a seed to import the expired PRV or a watch only. This is for your other cosigner. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so you scan QR. Boom. All right. What's it going to do? It's going to take you to your third one now. So not much will change. Uh, now you just want to continue the process. Uh, name or ID. You press import again. Okay. Scan QR, boom, boom, and now you have your three key pairs uh, with your names in it, okay? Cool, it'll take you to home wallet. Now, creating a new private wall, private key, I'm sorry. Uh, same thing, you have your import private key, you wanna name it, password, um, XPRV or XPUB, you press, you type that all in, you press import, you press scan, and here it is, here's your private key, you press create, open wallet. Awesome. Now, uh, importing a key. So importing a standard on like a standard user, I'm not sure if uh, it should just be create a wallet or maybe add in importing as well for a standard user or that's for advanced. I'd like to know from you guys. Uh, maybe in a standard view, you have these X's or something to, allow you, to let you know that you're like, okay, these are um, my capabilities here in a standard user uh, preset. All right, so standard, everything should look familiar to you guys right here. And uh, into your seed phrase, maybe you have some custom words to extend it, your BIP 39, um, you import that yourself or you scan it. So if you scan it, it's gonna look like this again. Take you to home wallet. Oh, cool. All right, so you're advanced, and now you're going to import. Yeah, this is import. Why does it say create? Okay. My apologies. All right, multi signature wallet, wallet name, blah, blah, blah. Your cosigners and signatures. It will look exactly like the first one you saw. Um, same thing goes, everything's familiar. These flows are isolated. Um, you'll be able to add, import, create um, uh, your key pairs with multi-signature. Um, so I want to keep everything uh, quite familiar. And you're going to go through the process like this as always. You add your second. You want to import your seed phrase or so. Same thing. Uh, we just went through this. And take your home wallet. 
now you want to import your private key, um, your SRV, your XPRV, or your XPUB. Or you scan QR, take it to your home wallet. And last but not least is use your master key. So back here, um, you would be an advanced preset and uh, press your master key. It shall look very familiar. Your XPRV or XPUB. Scan QR or import. If it's successful, here's your private key. Press create. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, and like I said the sec first time, thank you for um, being able to uh, get offer some feedback on the first iteration. Here's the second one. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think. Maybe I'm missing some things. Um, if not, I'm looking forward to moving on and presenting another video of uh, once we get into the wallet, once we import a or create a new wallet, uh, what's it like inside there? What are your, the capabilities? What kind of journeys can you go on? What kind of tasks can you perform? And I'm looking forward to showing you guys that one as well. So uh, thanks again. And uh, thank you, Bitcoin Cash Network. Stay free.